can you hear me? Mark, is that you? I'm... I'm not sure. Come then, my son. Come see your true face. Kanchio. I am here. This... This isn't right. I thought I was in... Come. Just a little farther. Here. I'm... I'm scared, Kanchio. Something isn't right. I don't feel well. It feels like my gut's slipping out of me. You are dying, Mark. But I want to die. Hurts. If you are to be reborn, you must suffer through pain. It is the way of things, my son. This is mine. This is who I am. You are nothing. Not anymore. But before you become something new, you must remember who you've already been. Almost time to rise. The hell are you yelling about now, Spectre? You're gonna wake up the others. We'll be tell by the shit, man. Please. I don't. Where am I? I need help. Hear that, Billy? He needs help. Of course I heard him, Bobby. He needs help, alright. Here. Let me give you a hand. Oh! Ah, you got blood on my scrubs, Billy. What we tell about making a mess, Spectre? <laughs> Conchu, please! Conchu? What the hell is a Conchu? You know what a Conchu is, Billy? Never heard of him, Bobby. Think Mr. Spectre here is confused. Think he needs some extra medicine to help him sleep. Right, Bobby? Think that's a grand idea, Billy. No, you can't- Night-night, uh! Spectre. Night-night. <clears throat> Now you ain't talking so tough, are you, Moon Man? Please, don't do this. You don't understand. I'm not crazy. I'm not... That's more like it. Ain't no use, Spectre. Do it, Billy. Doing it, Bobby. <laughs> Time to wake up and smell the bacon, honey. Just need to get some fresh coffee on, fire up the grill, and we're all set to open. What's wrong, honey? Can't be my food. You haven't even tasted it yet. What's the frown for, Jake, honey? Can't be my food. You haven't even tasted it yet. And up next on New York Breakfast, new, a sighting of Manhattan's favorite vigilante. No, not Daredevil. Not Spider-Man. The other that's right... We have exclusive footage of the Moonlight in action last night. An eagle-eyed reviewer caught this BYNC footage last night in Hell's Kitchen. Masked vigilante Moonlight was spotted taking on his old nemesis, the sultry-stained glass Scarlet. Police refused to comment, but it is believed both Moonlight and Scarlet fled before authorities could intervene. Huh? Do not look at that rubbish, my friend. It will purify your brain, and it is all part of the big lie anyway. Pure fabrication. Uh, excuse my manners, Mark. My name is Crawley. Bertrand Crawley. We've met, but I can see you don't recall. We have? Oh yes, we most certainly have. Tell me, Mark, what do you think this place is? Uh, a hospital. Very good, yes. It does indeed resemble a medical institution of some sort. Very good indeed. But tell me, when you look closer, I mean, you really look, Mark, do you see anything else? No. I do feel I've forgotten something important, though. Like a song you can't remember the words to. They're right there on the tip of my tongue, but my brain can't quite grab them. Don't be so hard on yourself, old friend. They probably have enough drugs pumping through you to put a horse in a coma. Which, don't get me wrong, can actually be quite pleasant. And I'm certainly no stranger to pharmaceuticals. But I'm afraid you're going to need to be a lot sharper than this, Mark. You see, I want to help you. Can you? I can try. But it starts with you. You are the fist, Mark. The fist of conscience. Only you can break these walls. Only you can lead us off. We travelers of this dark night, only you can set us free. Robert, and how are we today? Show you trap, Crowley. What did I tell you about bothering the other patients? Oh, I truly am sorry, Robert. I only wanted a little morning conversation before my shock therapy. Good to flap the gums a bit and wipe the jaw before they are clamped shut, eh? Shut up, old man. 
or we take the rest of your teeth. You tell him, Bobby. Where are you taking me? Down for your therapy session, Spectre. You tell the doc how you got them black eyes? Me and Bobby pay you another visit tonight. And you won't like this one, you hear? Marlene? Shut up, lover boy. Or do we need to give you the cold shower again? Eh, good one, Bobby. Well, Mark, you don't know what, quite what to say anymore. I thought we were making some progress these last weeks, but now you say you remember nothing of that? I, I just don't know what to believe anymore. Dr. Emmett, please, I don't know what to believe either. All I know is I woke up this morning in this place, and I have no idea how I got here. I remember bits and pieces of different lies before this, Moon Knight, the Vigilante, Jake Lockley, the cab driver, Stephen Grant, the millionaire. I need you to tell me, which of those really happened? Which one, which one was really me? <sighs> Mark, none of those were really you. None of it really happened. All of it's an elaborate delusion, fantasies you created to cope with the truth. No, I don't believe that. I know Moon Knight was real. At least that. I know Conch was real. Mark, we've had this conversation dozens of times. You want the truth? Well, here it is. There is a Moon Knight, Mark, but you are not him. You've been in this institution since you were 12 years old. No. Yes, we've been through this again and again. You are an orphan. You've spent your entire life in this hospital. Moon Knight is just your fantasy. You've been keeping a journal of his adventures since you were a boy. They are delusions. It never happened. None of it. It's all been in your head. You are Mark Spector. You are an orphan. You have DID, Dissociative Identity Disorder. No. Yes. And if you aren't willing to do the work necessary to get better, we are going to have to increase your medication again. Move back to your secure ward. Is that what you want? No. Good. So you are going to work with me? You're going to stop these stories about Egyptian gods and Moon Knight and help me! Help me, Mark Spector, again! I do want to help you, Mark. I've always been your friend. Gancho, can you hear me? Of course, my son. I am always with you. Is... is it true what she said? Is all this in my head? Are you in my head? You already know the answer to that. If you thought she was telling the truth, you never would have stolen that pen. Now stop whining like an infant. It is time. Time? Time to act. Time to rise. Go fish, Bobby. Damn, I'm off my game tonight, Billy. What the hell was that? Spectre. Gonna rip his throat out of the of the others. I'll give him something to choke on. Ah! Didn't we tell you? The fuck you screaming about now, Spectre? Nothing. Just want to get your attention. I want to see your true faces. So I can pound on the fuck out of him. Uh oh, Bobby. Uh oh, it's right, Billy. Night, night. That's it, Mark. You are almost there. Run! Why do you think there are no windows in this place? You are buried. This place is a tomb. Find me, Mark. Rise up. Find the moon. And now, you will finally see the truth. No. Yes. Your fight has just begun, Moon Knight. Look up. What? I said look up. Clean the sand out of your ears. We are running out of time. Look at my face, son, and you tell me, is this real? Yes. Yes. This is the only real thing I've felt in so long. Who is doing this? What's happening? A full-blown invasion. It is Seth. Seth? He must be stopped. But first, you must turn around. What? Why? Because it is time to kick some ass. My dead man, Spectre! Oh, fuck. Indeed. Gonna make you hurt now, Mark. Ugh. <sighs> I expected more, my son. Be careful, don't want him dead. Dr. Emma would have our heads. My mask! Give back my mask! Can't see your face anymore! Open your eyes, Spectre. Ain't nothing to see. I 
know what I saw. I know. Khonshu, can you help me? Khonshu, speak to me. It's all real. Moon Knight is real. It all happened, didn't it? 